well, we have wrapped up our month of horrors. So now we return to our regularly scheduled science fiction novel reviews. Specifically, Legend of the Galactic Heroes, Book 7, Tempest. Came out a few months ago, as of this recording. Do the sooner, but there is a month full of horror films on the way. Funny how that works out. And this should hopefully be coming out just in time for the next book, so... Good time, like, just enough time for you to pick up this book, give it a read before the next book of the series comes out. So, let's get started. Previously on Legend of the Galactic Heroes, the Galactic Empire had thoroughly beaten the Free Plants Alliance. Rather than bend the knee to Kaiser Reinhard von Lohengrom, Admiral Yang Wen Li did the thing that he'd basically been meaning to do when he enlisted in the Free Planets Alliance Officer Academy in the first place. He retired with his now wife, Frederica Wen Li, the Greenhill, to enjoy his pension and write history books. However, Reinhard von Lohengrabben's military career was based entirely around the concept of smashing the state of the empire, ending the Golden Blom dynasty, and reshaping the government along his wishes, and in turn, surrounding himself with officers who shared that vision, none of whom fit that more than Paul von Overstein. Consequently, Overstein either had convinced himself that Wen Li would not accept this retirement and would rise up against the state, or would believe that others would drag, drag Wen Li out of retirement as part of their plans to rise up against the new state of the uh, empire, and so persuaded the military governor of Hainessen Admiral Lennonkamp, that this was the case. Lennonkamp, in turn, put pressure on the currently appointed head of state of the Free Planets Alliance, Joan Lubello, who in turn had planned to execute Yang on the trumped-up manufactured charges that Lennonkamp had created, leading them to arresting Yang and holding him in anticipation of the planned execution. At which point, the Rosenritter, the formerly defunct elite Free Planets Alliance unit made up of Imperial defectors, reactivated themselves as a paramilitary organization, a la the A-Team, except with more murder, and, along with Frederica Wen Li, decided to break Yang out of prison, take Lenin Camp hostage, and head off planet to link up with a small battle group of Free Planets Alliance naval officers, led off by another form, uh, defected Imperial elite, Willibald Joachim von Merkatz. Upon realizing that, this, that he had basically caused the exact chain of events that he intended to stop in the first place, Lenin Camp offed himself in his cell, leaving the Rosenritter and the Yang fleet with the twin dilemmas of what are they going to do against Reinhard, and in the awkward situation of trying what to do with their hostage now that he's dead. And they had nothing to do with his demise. Thus brings us to the beginning of Book 7. Book 7 puts Yang in the difficult situation of having to first find a base of operations to use against Reinhard, and they ultimately figure out, okay, now what? We're, well, hopelessly outmatched and outclassed. The entire series thus far, Yang has been fighting a war with the support, more or less, of a state, of the Free Planets Alliance. Now, Yang and the Yang fleet find themselves without that support and without really another state to rely on. They're less in the situation of, like, the Spanish guerrillas during the Napoleonic Wars or... Viet Cong and the Vietnam War, where both of those guerrilla groups are backed by a state, by again, finan getting financial, monetary, and military support from a state, or even the United States during the, war, the uh, Revolutionary War, where we're getting support from outside from other countries. Money, guns, ships, what have you. Um, and now instead, they're a situation closer to the Zapatistas, in northern Mexico, albeit if the Zapatistas were commanded by a military genius, and the Mexican government decided to send another military genius out to put them, put them down. How they get in the situation makes for an interesting story, and one which is a very fun read. Um, it's not to say the book is free of its giant space battles. Reinhardt isn't spending the book as an administrator the way he was last time. I mean, the rest of the Free Planets Alliance fleet that isn't attached to Yang does have one big showdown with Reinhard. Although this is the military science fiction equivalent of Jeff Hardy going against up against the Undertaker, 
it's going to be a good match, though the result is a foregone conclusion. The story is otherwise like engaging, um, and it definitely gets a bit more character moment side of things with the officers of the Yang for of Yang fleet, not just Yang and Frederica and that sort of thing, but the uh, but the other members of Yang's crew's the wrong word because we're dealing with ships and but Yang's. Brass, no, entourage, the officers in his inner circle, they get more character breadth and depth to them this time than they would, than they'd gotten in some of the earlier books. In fact, they get more character growth to a degree here than they've had since um, the siege of Iserlan, uh, where you have the Commanders of the um, of the base basically trying to cover for the fact that Yang's away right now. How do we trick them into thinking that uh, that Yang is still here? That sort of thing. Um, except now Yang is here, and we get a sense of the interplay that these officers have with their commander. We only had anything quite as equivalent in terms of interplay between officers and superior. Um, both as in terms of the military hierarchy and how they view their commander and also how they interact with them. Um, we've only had an interaction at that level on the Imperial side previously with Overstein, Kirkheis, and all of them with Reinhardt. So it's nice getting that degree of character interplay here. It's not as pronounced, but I'm glad we're getting it. I'm hoping in the next book or so We'll get more of that. So I did do this book. I mean, I'm in a minute for the long haul, but I'm glad that I got to pick this up and give it a read in time for November. Next episode of Breaking It All Down. Little up in the air as of this recording. Maybe a list. Maybe something a little different. We shall see. <music> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. <laughs>